Do you know who is the king of China's independent auto brands? Some people say that you can tell whether a car is good or not by looking at the sales volume. Some people say that buying a car depends on the technical level of the core components. In fact, these factors are all important factors in determining whether a car is good or not. In recent years, China's domestic cars have made rapid progress. Many people want to know which one is the strongest among the mainstream Chinese car companies Geely, BYD, Chang'an, Great Wall and Cherry. Hi! Welcome to Auto Age. Before we started today's video, please subscribe to the channel and turn on the notification bell. In today's video, let's take a look at who is the king of China's independent auto brands. Okay, let's get started. First, we rule out the Great Wall. Many people may say that Great Wall has won the sales championship for 10 consecutive years with Havel H6, which is true. But it only makes SUVs, and its product line is relatively single. As we all know, whether it is a family car or other models, it is inseparable from a sedan. The handling performance, comfort, stability, low fuel consumption and other advantages of a sedan are all difficult to achieve in SUVs of the same level. From this point of view, a lack of sedan is a shortcoming of the Great Wall. At the same time, it is impossible to seize all the SUV market, which means that it is difficult to be the strongest. As for BYD, I can only say that it is the number one in the field of Chinese new energy vehicles market. But in the field of fuel vehicles, we can directly exclude it. Moreover, the overall strength of Cherry is not as good as that of Geely. I will explain the reasons in detail later. In the end, only Geely and Chamon were left. Chang'an Automobile's total sales in 2021 reached 1.75 million units, ranking first in Chinese domestic car sales, with CS75 alone reaching 280,000 units. In addition, Chang'an's overall technical strength should not be underestimated. So, which one is better, Geely or Chang'an? Personally, I prefer Geely. Why is that? Well, Geely has certain advantages in terms of sales volume, independent technology, high-end exploration, revenue, etc. Since the cooperation between Geely and Volvo has been further strengthened, Geely has embarked on a high-speed road of development, surpassing Great Wall and Chang'an successively and becoming the sales champion of China's own brand. Of course, this is inseparable from the fact that Geely has absorbed Volvo technology for many years. With the blessing of this brand effect, whether it is Geely's own car or Link & Co, it has been recognized by consumers. In the past 10 years, Geely has carried out eight overseas mergers and acquisitions, with an investment scale of more than 15 billion US dollars. In fact, Acquiring mature technologies through mergers and acquisitions has indeed made Geely breakthroughs a lot. However, in the field of new energy vehicles, it is really unknown what the result will be. By the way, among the five car companies, the most controversial is not Geely and Chang'an, but Cherry and Geely. Some people say that Geely is backed by Volvo. In recent years, its development momentum has been good and its sales volume is high. It is right to choose Geely. But some people say that Geely has been in constant turmoil in recent years, and car owners have complained many small problems, such as high fuel consumption and poor control. Some people think that Cherry's core parts have strong technical strength, and some people say that Cherry's sales are mediocre and it has always been left behind in terms of brand power, sales, and after-sales. In fact, a broad comparison is meaningless. Let's compare the two most popular models of the two car companies, Gilliam Grand GT and Cherry TG08, and the answer will be clear. When comparing the three technologies, the differences are obvious. The engine, gearbox and chassis have always been the heart of a car. Cherry's three major components are independently developed, especially in terms of engine technology, Cherry is very persistent. 
Sherry's engine has won the title of China's top 10 engines for seven times, and it is one of the car companies that has won the most technology awards among many Chinese car companies. The Kuanping 1.6T and 2.0T engines independently developed by Cherry were once called the best engines of China-made cars in the industry. In addition, Cherry Act Eco Series engines are exported to more than 90 countries and regions including the United States, Italy and Japan, which is enough to show its advantages in engine technology. For Geely, the engine is also independently developed. Of course, it is inseparable from Volvo's technical support. Although it does not use Volvo's latest engine technology, its technology is also relatively mature and stable, which should not be underestimated. In terms of gearbox, although Chinese domestic cars have made great progress in recent years. For example, Geely has a DSi-6 at gearbox, and Cherry has a Wanliang CVT gearbox, but the DSi technology that Geely bought is relatively old and is more than 10 years ago. Compared with the current 8 at and 10 at, it is still much inferior. Similarly, for Cherry's Wanliang gearbox, many key components still need to be outsourced, and the overall assembly is not so ideal. This is also one of the reasons why one of its models is similar to the BMW X5 in terms of power parameters but the actual driving experience is not as good as that of the X5. In short, in the field of gearboxes, neither Geely nor Cherry has a really good technology. Moreover, the real gap between Geely and Cherry lies in the different development routes. Cherry has been determined to take the road of independent research and development. After more than 10 years of continuous development, its technological precipitation is the most profound among China's mainstream car companies. However, Cherry has taken many detours in the past 10 years, missed the golden time for the development of Chinese car companies, and has gradually been overtaken by other car companies in terms of design, marketing, and after sales. In terms of sales volume, Cherry's total sales volume in 2021 was about 961,926 units, a good increase compared to previous years, while Geely's total annual sales volume is as high as 1,328,029 units, winning the annual sales champion for five consecutive years. It has to be said that good technology also requires good sales, and only with sales can there be sufficient profits and healthy development can be formed. Geely has done this very well. At the beginning, if the technology was not enough, they found a way to buy it. First, they acquired 100% of Volvo's shares, and then became the largest shareholder of Daimler. These indicate that Geely will continue to move forward. From the perspective of its product strength, it owns automobile companies such as Geely Automobile, Link & Covey Geometry Automobile, Volvo, etc. It has a very rich product line from sedans to SUVs to new energy vehicles. From the perspective of technical strength, it does not matter whether Geely is an independent technology or a technology transfer. The important thing is that it has indeed brought an increase in sales volume for Geely and the increase in sales volume directly drives the rapid development of the entire industry. Well, the above is my analysis. So, in your mind, who is the king of China's own auto brands? Okay, that's all for today. Please put your comments below and share your insightful ideas with other people. Do you want to learn about more auto stories? Please keep following our channel and like our videos. See you.